Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. So today for my first official makeup Monday video, I am bringing to you guys this look right here. It is an emerald green smoky eye and a spicy, feisty, smoky brown lip. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then please stick around. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal brow stylus to find a pencil first just to do the outline and then I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with the powder. My eyebrows and nose contour are both very new in my makeup routine, so I haven't quite mastered either of them yet. See, I'm very expressive. I talk a lot with my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try something new with my eyebrows. I'm going to try a darker, I'm sorry, a lighter eyeshadow powder that I'm going to use to fill in my eyebrows. I'm also going to try and set them with a mascara. So that way you can see the hair is a little bit better and it's not just, um, you know, just, just like a block of powder over your eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Now I'm going to take my concealer and try and clean that up. Using some kind of brow setting product um, ensures that the hairs, one, look a little more natural and real, and also keeps them in place. This is a general all over crease color. This is gonna be my transition color. Just a shade for me to have to transition the rest of the eyeshadows that I'm going to use. Now I'm taking more of a little bit um, darker and warm tone brown and I'm putting it in my outer V. This is like a black brown as you can see. Now I'm going to take my trusty favorite blending brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. I got it in a collection a long time ago and I'm going to just go ahead and blend all these colors together. I think I want to add some more warmth into my crease. So I'm going to go in with a really warm shade brown and blend that in between these two colors. The thing about eyeshadow is you just have to literally just put a million and five colors on and blend it all together and then It'll look good <laughs> as long as you do your, your circles and your windshield wipers. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Dark Horse from the Naked palette. So I'm gonna pack the color on first, then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I like the color Dark Horse because I'm doing a green smoky eye, as I said, and this is like a golden green. So I won't be showing the foundation application in this video because it's literally the same foundation I've been using which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and my same old, same old concealer which is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade 006 Deep. The Milani foundation is in the shade 13 Chestnut. I'm going to go on with the Nubian palette, the Nubian 2 palette using the shade Egypt which is a pretty green color. It appears much darker in the pan than it actually is in the lid. I'm gonna apply some spray to my brush as well, then go back in with that shade Egypt and apply it to my lid. Pretty emerald green, that's definitely how I would describe it. There's not a whole lot of fallout with these eyeshadows, just a very little bit, and it's not even that noticeable, so once you go ahead to wipe it away and apply your foundation, you should be good. And I forgot to apply an eyeshadow primer, which sucks, but I'm not going anywhere. If you are going somewhere, and if you have oily lids, please, 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 <laughs> apply an eyeshadow primer because it'll make a huge difference. The inner corner highlight that I'm using is a MAC eyeshadow. It's the MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow Collection. Came out a long time ago. Really, really, really good shadows. Really good um, collection. For some reason, I feel like they still do sell these Extra Dimension eyeshadows. I'm not 100% sure. And this is in the shade Modern Pewter. Very pretty color. My favorite one to use is I have a pink, a pink shade. I don't really know what it's called. Some kind of pink champagne shade that I have. And I use that all the time for my face highlight. My inner corner highlight is like my absolute favorite. I went ahead and used a, a pink powder for my Morphe um, 350 color palette. I think it was the neutral warm palette, whatever. I used I used the pink powder from that palette to go ahead and set my upper lip. Now, I can brush away the excess powder. Ooh. Ooh. While I let this powder bake for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. And I'm using the lashes that I love, Vegas Nay lashes. I forgot the, the Eyelore. Vegas May collection. Okay, so while that lash glue sits and sets, I'm going to go ahead and move back to my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna go back into my Morphe palette and use those same eyeshadows that I used on my top lash line. Take an elf flat shader brush. I'm gonna use that orange shade. The last shade I'm gonna use my lower lash line is gonna be dark dark force. Now I'm going to go ahead and take an angled brush and I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio 
gel eyeliner and my lower lash line. I finished off my eye look. The eye look is completely done. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'm going to start by doing my cream contour. Put the product on my hand, use my fingers, and apply it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over top of that cream contour that I put on my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and go over top of that with, um, I think I'm going to use the MAC Blush. blush. Now I'm going to use the MAC, MAC Blush in Raisin, I think this is. And to finish off my highlight, I'm going to use this CoverGirl product that I have. I wish I knew what this thing was called. I had this thing for so long. But it looks very similar to that MAC um, Extra Skin Finish Dimension thing. It looks like very similar to that pink champagne golden highlight. Let's see, it's very pretty. I love it. Take my take my foundation brush, step all over everything, just to further push it into my skin. Yo, know, that pink powder worked wonders because I always have darkness around my mouth. That pink powder did a great job at concealing that and hiding that and making it go away. The lip color I'm going to use is by Ruby Kisses. It's a matte lipstick. The Ruby Kisses matte lipstick in the shade Spicy Brown. That's pretty nice. It's a reddish brown. I love this color. It's so pretty. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course, and give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends on all your social media sites. I will also be doing more amazing fashion and beauty content here on this channel, so please stick around and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your time, and bye for now.